Hi. So now let us see our next key that is primary key. So if you understand candidate key, it is just a matter of few seconds actually. What is primary key? Nothing is there if you understand the uh, candidate key. So let us see what is its uh, definition. So you can have one or more than one candidate key. Is it? So out of all these possible candidate keys, we are just selecting one actually as a primary key. That's it. So that means every primary key is unique, unique plus not null simply you can say. Is it or not? So you can have more than one candidate key, but you can you are going to have only one primary key. So exactly one primary key we are going to have. Exactly one, not more than that. So that primary key is also one of the candidate. Key. If you have only one candidate key, that is automatically primary key. If you have more than one candidate key, then you select whichever is flexible for you. So for example, whatever we see in the earlier example, same thing if you take. So here, what are all the possible candidate keys? So employee number is one candidate key. Other number is another candidate key. Driving license is another candidate key. So simple thing is that which you will select as a primary key, that is always whatever is flexible for you, that you can select as a primary key. So in a, in a company, for example, uh, taking other number is actually a tedious or uh, calling with the other number is very tedious or even with the driving license also. So it's better whatever employee number ID they have, with that only if you select that as a primary key, then you have a lot of flexibility, right? So that is what out of all candidate keys, whichever is flexible for us that we can select as a primary. Key. So that is what, for example, in this scenario, we selected EMP number as a primary. Key. So that's it. So that is what actually we are saying. Uh, candidate key part, if it is clear, then primary key is clear actually. So primary key is actually subset or equal to candidate key. And the candidate keys may be greater than or equal to one, but the primary key is always exactly one, not more than that. Is it clear?